Only on four tonight, a man gets arrested for threatening people with a hatchet on a Colorado trail. And now investigators in Indiana want to know if he could be tied to the murders of two young girls who were on a hike. Both are crimes we've been following for weeks now. And investigators say there are disturbing similarities. Police say people had been complaining about a car in the area of Mount Herman Road. That's between Palmer Lake and Monument. Officers arrested him in that car. Tom Messon live in Monument tonight. You've been following this one closely, Tom. And Karen, a lot of new information tonight about a man accused of wielding a hatchet on the trails here behind me in Monument. Tonight we've learned that Daniel Sessions is not only a convicted sex offender, but many believe a suspected serial killer. Disturbing new details in the unsolved shooting death of Palmer Lake bicyclist Tim Watkins. If you knew Tim, he was uh, an incredible human being. Watkins was gunned down two weeks ago while riding his bike along a popular Monument Trail. Monday, police arrested 31-year-old Daniel Nation after he allegedly threatened several people with a hatchet near the same trail. Thank God they got someone. It's got to be this guy. It's got to be this guy. Authorities will not say if Nations is a suspect in Watkins' death, but now there are new concerns about the man. Nations is a convicted sex offender. He was arrested in Colorado driving a vehicle with expired Indiana plates. In February, two girls were murdered on a hiking trail in Indiana. That killer has not been found. Jackie Kirby with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office admitted what she called many similarities in the cases and is not denying a possible connection. But she says police in Indiana have requested no further information be released to the public. They have asked us not to speak to their case. So uh, I am not at liberty to elaborate on anything as it relates to what happened in Indiana. And with a suspect in custody and mysterious silence from authorities, resident Anthony Ramos says nation's arrest is either an unlikely coincidence or just the tip of the iceberg. If Indiana police have been looking for this person and then we find him here in Palmer Lake, I mean, how many other things can this person be connected to? Now, just minutes ago, Indiana police confirmed to us they are, in fact, looking at Nations as a possible suspect in the murder of his two girls. And we'll have much more on this developing story tonight on CBS 4 News at 6. We're live in Monument tonight. Tom Muston covering Colorado first. Tom, thank you.